Hi, my name is Peer, and uh, in this tutorial I'll teach you how to set your browser in kiosk mode. Kiosk mode is a mode we often use when we have, say, a touchscreen that we'll place somewhere at a conference, and the user should just be able to interact with the screen by touches. So, how do we do that? On the screen here to my right, you see um, uh, a solution like the kind of thing that we want to run uh, on the screen. Uh, you can see that the user should be able to touch things here or remove things, but uh, they should of course not be able to leave the, the page. So how do we do that? Um, then we have to set up our touch screen somewhere and start the browser in kind of a full screen mode. So let's change to our terminal uh, in order to start up uh, the browser in kiosk mode because you cannot do that from inside the browser. Here you have to say, to write, I mean, command space. If you write T-E-R, then you can see the I term. And that's actually the, the terminal we want to use. Here it is. Uh, this is basically a Mac terminal and I will just make it large here. Command plus then you should be able to to read what I'm writing and now you can see the screen. I write clear here so now we have a very very uh, blank terminal. Now on a Mac everything hangs from a dash. So if you write ls, that is uh, list the content of uh, whatever you have, and you write this slash here, you can see everything that hangs from the system. And here you can see that actually on the top we have application. And that's where Mac puts everything. So let's write cd and a slash and a. And if you press enter here, applications will come up, or suggestions if more words are starting with an A. So now we are in applications. Let's see if we can find something along the lines of Chrome or Google. LS, GO, and a star, which will take anything with GO. Let's see. Okay, that's not good. Let's see if we can just say ls here. Now you can see all the programs that are on my computer. Bit messy, isn't it? But uh, Google Chrome is here and that's actually a folder. So we can cd into that. Change directory, Google Chrome app. Now we're inside the app. Then we can have a look at what's inside, so list. Here we see contents, okay, contents, yes, and ls again, aha, uh -huh. here you see that, oh, we have a thing here called macOS, I think we're actually in luck here, so let's change to that one, macOS, here it is, and let's try the list thing again, here you see Google Chrome, and um, that's actually the program that we need. Now we can fire off Chrome from a terminal, uh, but if you think you can just write Google Chrome like this and then press enter, you're in for a disappointment. It will just say command not found. So uh, here we could obviously say, well, that's a video uh, and uh, thank you for liking it uh, and uh, please subscribe and whatever you, you uh, tend to say. But if you want to really start it up, you can say dot dash and Google Chrome. And now Chrome has opened in another window that is, but here it is. Now you see Chrome has opened up and if you want it to run in kiosk mode, you simply have to add two minuses, right kiosk. And then um, it will open in kiosk mode, and then you could add an app. 
and that app could be the path to your um, to your uh, app that you have. In my case, this is where I save it. Uh, you have to write the path to wherever your app is on your system, and then you press enter. And now Chrome starts up in kiosk mode. Here it is, and we can simply do it like that. So now we have uh, Google Chrome in kiosk mode. And had this been a touch screen, I would of course hide away anything uh, looking like a keyboard. And then the user should simply interact with the screen by, by the, like this. They should be able to touch and, and order stuff. Uh, and that is actually how you set up a computer in kiosk mode on a Mac. Thank you for watching and uh, if you like my uh, video here you can always uh, subscribe to the channel by clicking the bell and then you'll never miss the next episode. Thank you so much for watching and bye bye.